In this video, we are going to discuss digital data, digital signal. Before going for the discussion of different digital data, digital signal encoding techniques, let us discuss some terminologies which will be used in our discussions. So at first we are going to define the data element. The data element is a term and its required unit is bits. So you know that BIT bit is the short form, the full form is binary digit. So B came from binary and digit is having the last two letters IT, so it has formed this bit. So bits is the unit for this data element that means a single binary 1 or binary 0. Here we are having the next term that is our data rate. So it is it can be expressed in the form that is bits per second in short it will be called as BPS. If it is byte per second remember then BPS will be there but B will be in capital. So the data rate the rate at which the data elements are transmitted. Next one we are going to discuss the signal element. So in case of digital a voltage pulse of constant amplitude can be considered as a signal element or in case of analog transmission a pulse of constant frequency, phase and amplitude. In case of analog signal we are having three things which can vary. So there is a phase, there is a next one is a frequency and the last one is the amplitude. So when the frequency, phase and amplitude will remain same then that portion of the analog signal will be known as a signal element in analog signal. Next one the part of a signal that occupies the shortest interval of a signaling code. Next one we are going to discuss that is signaling rate or modulation rate. So signal elements per second and its unit is baud, baud rate and the rate at which signal elements are transmitted. So in this particular table we have discussed multiple key data trans transmission terms. This is our different types of digital signal encoding techniques and formats. So first one is non return to zero level. So in the abbreviated form we usually call it as NRZL. So zero means high level and one means low level. So let us go for the respective uh, example on it. Let us suppose here we are having our digital data that is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0 and then 1, 1. So this is our digital data. I want to encode it in the form of NRZL. So what was the logic? 0 means high level and 1 means low level. Then 0 means high level, 1 means low, 0 means high, 1 means low, 0 means high and 1 means low. Next one is our non return to 0 inverted. In abbreviated form it is NRZI. So 0 means no transition at the beginning of the interval 1 bit time and 1 means transition at the beginning of the interval. Now you might be asking me what is a transition? Transition means if the signal was at the voltage level 1 then it will come to 0. Otherwise if the signal level was at the voltage level 0 then it will be going to the 1 level. So that is known as transition. So 0 means no transition at the beginning of the interval and 1 means transition at the beginning of the interval. So let us go for that. So I am going for this NRZI. So 0 means no transition at the beginning of interval, 1 means transition. So as I was at the low level, so I will be going for the high level, 0 means no transition, 0 means no transition, 1 means transition. So as I was at the high level, so I shall be coming to the uh, low level, then 1 means transition, 0 means no transition, 1 means transition and again 1 means transition. Let us go for this bipolar AMI. This is our bipolar AMI. So 0 means no line signal and 1 means positive or negative level alternating for successive ones. So let us go for the respective implementation. So 0 means no line signal, you can easily find for 0 I put no line signal and 1 means positive or negative level alternating for successive ones. Here we are considering that previous one bit was having the negative level. So that is why this one will have the positive, then negative, then positive, then negative, then positive back again. So in this way the bipolar AMI we have drawn the respective digital signal. Next we are going for pseudo ternary. So 0 means positive or negative level alternating for successive ones and 1 means no line signal that is just the reverse of it. 
So, let us go for the implementation. So, in case of 1 that is no line signal you can easily find that that is no line signal and here for 0 we are considering that preceding 0 was having the negative level. So, here we are having positive, negative, positive again 0 there, negative, positive we are having this one, 1 so that is no line signal. So, negative, positive, negative then no line signal. In this way the pseudo ternary we have discussed. Next we are going for the Manchester encoding. In case of Manchester 0 means transition from high to low in the middle of the interval and 1 means transition from low to high in the middle of the interval. So, always that will be a transition in the middle of the interval and 0 means transition from high to low and 1 means transition from low to high. So, just remember 0 means I shall be coming ultimately low level and 1 means I shall be going ultimately high level. So, remember this one please. 0 means I shall be coming ultimately low level obviously from the high level from high to low. In case of 1 I shall be going ultimately high level that is from low to high. So, let us see the example now. So, we are going for this Manchester 0 means high to low, 1 means low to high, 0 means high to low, 0 means so I shall have to go to high then low, 1 means low to high, 1 means low to high, 0 means high to low, 0 means high to low, that is 0 there so high to low, 1 means low to high and 1 means low to high. So, in this way this Manchester encoding has been done. The last one is our differential Manchester. So, always a transition in the middle of the interval. So, middle of the interval transition is mandatory for 0 and 1. 0 means transition at the beginning of the interval and 1 means no transition at the beginning of the interval. So, 0 means at the beginning and at the middle, 1 means no not at the beginning but at the middle transition will be there. So, let us go for the example now. Differential 0 means at the beginning at the middle, 1 means only middle, 0 means at the beginning at the middle, 0 means at the beginning transition at the middle transition, 1 means only at the middle, 1 means only at the middle, 0 means at the beginning at the middle, 0 means at the beginning at the middle, same thing same thing will be followed here. 0 means at the beginning at the middle, 1 means only at the middle, 1 means only at the middle. In some cases if you find that I drew this one, if you find that it is not at the middle, so please consider that the transitions are at the middle. So, in this way we have discussed NRZL, NRZI, bipolar AMI, our pseudo ternary Manchester and differential Manchester. So, you can take a snap of the of this particular picture and then also you can take a snap of this particular slide and now do the practice on different set of binary data. So, in this video we have discussed digital data and digital signal. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.